All right, guys. So today is March 18th and we are um, 11 days post surgeries. For the last two days, I have been itching and my skin has felt, felt like it's on pins and needles. It's just itching, it's burning. And what it is is that the nerves are um, waking up. I call it on thawing. <laughs> Um, but you know, when that happens, I mean, the nerves just like go bonkers and it's like, I will get, uh, a sharp burning pain. It, it, it is just so, my skin is so sensitive and it is so irritated and it, the medication that I have does not treat the nerve pain. So I have Advil, Tylenol, you know, that's not going to work. And then I have, um, oxycodone that that actually helps dull the pain. Um, and then I have um, a, a muscle relaxer, which is a methyl carbamol or whatever. The only thing that comes close is the oxy because it just helps um, to kind of subdue everything so I can relax and go to sleep. But it is, I've been so irritated all freaking day and I'm not wearing my Spanx right now because I slept in it and I wore it all day and I just needed a break from it. So the Spanx, on one hand, it feels good because it holds everything in and it keeps whatever clothing I'm wearing, it keeps it, um, my skin protected from the clo clothing shaping and, you know, rubbing, um, rubbing across my skin. But at the same time, you know, Spanx, it does what it's supposed to do. It sucks it all the way in and it's so constrictive, right? And sometimes I just need a break from it, right? And, and it's more so like in my, it's just too much. Like when I come home, I wear stuff like this. It's comfortable. These are the pants that I have on. And this is actually what I wore uh, to on the day of surgery. They were telling me to wear something uh, that could zip up that I wouldn't have to put over my head because I have the incisions right here near my underarm. And um, that way I wouldn't have to like raise my hands over my head in order to put on my top. So this is what I wore. Super comfortable, super soft. This is Air Essentials from Spanx, by the way super soft. I love it. I have two. This one is a different style, but I love both of them. Super soft. Highly recommend. But when I'm home, I wear stuff like this, right? Nothing that is going to be tight fitting on me. I want to be comfortable at home. And the Spanx is the exact opposite of that. So sometimes I just need a break from that. So I'm I took it off right now. I am going to put it back on when I go to sleep. But I just wanted to let you guys know, boy, this pain and irritation is no joke so the pain wasn't so bad i thought the pain was going to be more than it actually was but that doesn't mean that i haven't been uncomfortable and when you can't take a medication to dull that pain and you just have to live with it then that makes it even them even uh more aggravating but I did finish my antibiotics earlier this week. So this is all my medicine laid out and this is how I kept track of it. So over here, this was my antibiotic and I finished that, I only had seven days worth. So I finished that seven days on schedule. What I did is I just put a post-it note right in front of the medicine bottle and I wrote down the date and the time that I took it and that's how I was able to keep track of my medication. These are my probiotics. So I took the culture rail and the floor star. That's to offset the side effects of the antibiotic. Then for pain, I took Tylenol, extra strength, and Advil. And I would alternate that with the methyl carbamol. And I would take, I would alternate these every three hours. So Tylenol, Advil, take those together. Three hours later, later methocarbamol and then the last one over here is my oxycodone i still have uh, a ton of pills left i don't really need to take those anymore i'm going to save those for the massages if i find those painful and that is how i kept track of my medication but I did finish my antibiotics earlier this week. So they only gave me enough for seven days. I took them three times a day, every time I ate. And I'm still taking my probiotics. So I had to take probiotics first thing in the morning, last thing at night. And that is to counter the effects of the antibiotic. If you're a woman, you know, 
that antibiotics can give you vaginal infections and so the probiotics counter that um that risk and so i'll be taking those for another two weeks i'm still taking my tylenol advil um and my uh, muscle relaxer the methylcarbamol so i'm tapering off of my pain meds so the 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 real pain from the procedure I've passed that period. The nerve pain is what I'm going through now. And when I talked to the doctor's office today, they said, you, you just kind of have to deal with it. Um, there's really no medication that would that will numb that pain for you, except for the Oxy. I think the Oxy does dull it a little bit, but you're still gonna feel it. You're gonna know it's there. So anyway, I do go back to work tomorrow. So. I took PTO on the 7th and the 8th. My surgery was on the 7th. Took PTO that Thursday and Friday. And that next week, I worked remote. I did work, but I worked remote the whole week. So I didn't have to deal with Atlanta traffic. Thank you, Jesus, because that 285 ain't a no joke. Um, but this week, I am going into the office two days. So we will see how that goes. It's, it's, it's hard going out of the house, right? Because when you're home, you can, if you're hot, you can take things off. If you're cold, you can put things back on. If, you know, if I need a break from the Spanx, I can take the Spanx off. If I need just to scratch or stretch or just rub my belly or you, I can do that at home. You can't do that in the office. And, you know, I tried to run um, errands over the weekend I tried to run errands twice. I went and picked up my uh, medication for my, my thyroid because um, they had to adjust that. So I went to pick up my new prescription. I wanted to do some uh, some quick grocery shopping because my uh, I use the Publix Pharmacy. And I got so freaking hot in that grocery store. And I don't know what it was. I My stomach started itching and it was burning. And it's like all of the symptoms just kind of hit me at once. And I just had to get what I was going to get and just get out of there real quick and go back home. Same thing happened this weekend. I tried to run a couple errands and get my nails done and all that. I stopped at the first store, just started to feel so uncomfortable that I had, I just had to come back home. So I haven't been able to return to my normal duties, which is fine. I'm cool chilling at home. Um, I definitely want to give my body the rest it needs so I can recover from the surgery. I want to protect my investment. So I'm okay with that. But I just wanted to share where my progress is at this point in the journey. So I will uh, jump back on the next time I have something important to, to, to share with you. Um, but that's how it's going. That's how I started. This is how it's going.